I wanted to do this video and put it on YouTube because my husband and I went out and bought a Jeep a couple of weeks ago. And we realized after we bought it that we had a serious problem with a water leak. And the floorboards were soaking wet. So I got on YouTube and I started to investigate and found out that it's common with Jeep Grand Cherokees, probably other vehicles as well, if they use the OEM hose that was manufactured when they created the drain hoses for these Jeeps. So, I just wanted to let everyone know because I could not find on YouTube um, where the pathway was for the drain hoses. And there's four of them. We thought there was probably only two. There's one here, which is the one we repaired, and I'm going to show you in a minute. There's one over there in the rear corner on the passenger side and in the rear corner on the driver's side. And I'm just warning anybody that is going to attempt this, this is a big job. We had to take off all the side paneling and the headliner we had to take down. We have another Jeep exactly like this one that we're going to take the sunroof out of this one because whoever owned it apparently thought there was a leak on the top because of all the water and they siliconed the sunroof. So we cleaned all that off the top and realized that the motor works, the sunroof opens and, uh, then, like I said, I discovered that it was probably these drain hoses. So we took the headliner down to do this job. And at first, by looking on YouTube, another YouTuber had suggested using this white tubing. And this white tubing would work if you were only splicing. If you were going to leave the OEM tubing that went between the frame and the dashboard... If you left that all the way down to the bottom down here, then uh, this would work fine because it, it's solid. But trying to weave this tubing down through here was a very, very, very hard job. But my husband, who has great patience with mechanics, was able to do this. He was able to get it down in there and we used the clear 3 8 inch tubing. We got 12 feet of this and we used about just a little over 6 feet on the driver's side. The passenger side is going to go straight down so we won't need as much. So the 12 feet of this tubing should be plenty. And this is how we ran it. Put it right into this piece that attaches onto the drain hose. We're going to silicone this to prevent it from leaking. We ran it all the way down the side. And this is where the hard part really, I mean, this was really tough for us to get. And he took his time and he was able to get it. And then it comes down here and we're going to silicone this right around here and then push the grommet in and push that put, put silicone around the grommet area too so that it doesn't leak. and then I'll show you the back okay now we're on the back side here's the two inch piece of hosing that fits right here and we decided to keep the OEM tubing back here because there's no damage to it. It's still flexible. It's still in good shape. I kind of wanted to replace it just because how bad the other tubing was, but it was such a job to do the front. We decided we're just going to keep this like this and it runs down 
through the back of the frame. Again, we had to take the panel off to get to it. And it runs back behind here. And what my husband did was took some half inch heater hose and ran the blue through it and siliconed it and it came out the bottom end, pushed it through the bottom end, strapped it together to hold it in place and that did it. But it is a lot of work. Just a warning up front, it is a lot of work to do this without taking this dash off. We've already taken quite a bit of the Jeep apart to do this job.